I'm gonna go on a castle tour here very quickly. We're just waiting for um, the tour to start, but you can kind of see what I'm looking at across the river. Who care? I came here last night when I was all lit up, and that's a castle right there. We're gonna head over there. I'm gonna have to take a tram. <laughs> okay, I'm corrected here. It's Rebecca, not Rachel. I have no idea why I said that. We're the only English speaking people around here. Everyone else speaks like 10 different languages. Right? Pretty much, yeah. Um, from California? San Francisco, California. There you go. Minnesota. Yeah. Much warmer. Yeah, look how gorgeous that is. It is amazing. And they're not running the brewery anymore, but the brewery has been up and run, running by some, you know, someone else running it since 2005. And it's the same recipe, okay? Now there are two breweries here. I'm going to take you into this brewery here, the first brewery. There's also a bathroom in there. So who would like to try a brew? Come over here if you'd like to try a beer. Alcoholics here. <laughs> people are going to look after the drunk people here. You, you, you better <laughs> I'll help. <laughs> I'll help. We're heading inside into a brewery. We're going to try some beers in here. It's French cousin. And it is exactly one meter higher than the Eiffel Tower. If you include the hill. It's all perfectly measured, so this is the winner. We're higher. There's a vernacular railway that takes you up um, to the top of the hill for the same price. Pretty high up, actually. You can see over here. Underneath. Oh, I felt a raindrop. Changing of the guards is happening. This is inside the Prague Castle. It's the courtyard inside the castle. Maria 
Theresa came into power. I get comfortable. When she came into power in 1740, she said, I don't like the Prague Castle. I mean, she didn't even live here. She was based in Vienna. Okay, this is just one of her many castles, you know, within the Austro-Hungarian Empire. She said, I don't like the Prague Castle. It's not a real castle. It's like a village unto itself. I mean, she was right. Because there was no, like, master plan with the Prague Castle. Because, as I said, it's been built over a thousand years, all different architectural styles. She said, I want to make it look more like a real castle. So she had a lot of the older exteriors covered over with this neoclassical facade. So the Spanish Hall is a Baroque Hall. It used to stand on its own, okay? Yeah, that's the spot. We're still inside the castle.